get a one BAs now here. We're going to do the comparison between the Dell XPS 15 model 9500 and the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 3. They're both 15 inch powerful lightweight laptops and they pretty much target the same sort of users because they can be configured very similar. Now I'm going to cut down the chase and save you a lot of time and I'm going to just say flat out recommend the Dell XPS 15. And the reason for this is when I was checking out the price between these two computers and this is off the Dell US website and the Lenovo US website. So when you spec up the, these two computers with a CPU of i7 10750H processor with 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD hard drive and a 4K touchscreen, the Dell comes at $2,250. So that's a pretty good price there. And with the Lenovo, when you actually spec that up with the same specs, it comes down to $3,828 US dollars. That is at a crazy extreme big price difference between these two computers. I did also find on the Lenovo website a very similar spec X1 Extreme Gen 3 but just with a 4K non-touch display and that came down to 2,405 US dollars. So still, it's still quite a bit of a price difference between these two, but especially when you get that touch screen, that's a massive difference. So this is the massive reason no matter how slow this or fast this thing is, that price difference is extremely crazy. So that's one of the reasons why I would just truly and utterly just recommend the Dell XPS 15. Now, if you're interested to see also the specs and if you can get the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 3 for a much better price than the Dell XPS 15, then continue on with this video because I will give you what my thinks, thoughts are between these two on the features as well as the performance difference as well. Before I get started on the comparison, I'd like to mention that this video was sponsored by Zen Space Desk. Now, these guys do manufacture office furniture, things like stand-up desks like this one here, and also monitor arms and monitor accessories so like laptop holders as you can see here as well too now if you're interested in any of these products here scroll the link in the description below i have got a nice little voucher code for you guys for my viewers that you can actually get a little bit of discount if you only look at ordering now if you're looking at ordering monitor arms and you are away from Australia, if you're international from Australia, then do give them an email so they'll be able to help you with the shipping on that one there as well. Now, I also have created a nice little video on monitor arms on how to look for what to look for, and it's a, hopefully a buying guide there. And I'll put a link in the description below if you haven't seen that video out. But hopefully that will be help you out if you're looking for monitor arms. First, let's start off with the ports. With the Dell XPS 15, it has three Thunderbolt 3 ports and a full-size SD card reader and a headphone jack, and that's about all there is. So you charge the laptop through the Thunderbolt 3 ports. Now with the X1 Extreme Gen 3, it's got two Thunderbolt 3 ports and has also two USB type A ports which is great for legacy and you got headphone jack, you got full size SD card reader and also a AC power port as well and a HDMI port fantastic so overall i like the ports on the lenovo x1 extreme so you actually don't need to carry a lot of the dongles if you need this one or if you're out on a run this one you more than likely you won't need to carry dongles with you which is great so port wise i have to give a win to the lenovo x1 extreme second up is the keyboard now the keyboard is very subjective but for myself i always have preferred the thinkpad keyboard they've got very good nice key travel there's actually a lot more key travel than the Dell's and also just the general feel and the actual touch and surfaces and the spacing in between I personally prefer the ThinkPad keyboard although the XPS 15 keyboard is fantastic it's got more of a flat sort of thing whereas this one each inch of the keys got more of a curvature uh, overall just generally I just like typing on the ThinkPad keyboards now I do like to mention though, this is one of the things is that the Lenovo keyboard does have the function and control keys swapped around. I'm kind of used to it. Uh, for those who don't really are not used to it, that's something to get used to. Although I do find that the keys on the XPS 15 is a little bit larger than Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard. Uh, and also the power button for me, I like having it separated for the power button, whereas the Dell XPS 15, it's integrated into the 
you see, so I actually do hit the delete key fair bit of there, whereas this one I don't have that problem there as well too. With the Lenovo, it actually still has the track point or the keyboard nipple, or even the, what I used to call the G spot. Now that's got still there on the X1 Extreme, whereas the Dell XPS 15, that's no longer there. So that's a big win for those who actually do use the track point. And you've also got the free buttons to support that underneath the space bar. As for the trackpad, as you can see, there's quite a bit of a size difference between these two here. And the XPS 15 is my daily laptop. And even I've got to be honest, I still prefer the trackpad from the X1 Extreme. Now the reason for this is a few. First off, I know the size is nice for a lot of people, but for me, I do get that ghost pressing for the mouse. And I did cover that in my Dell Precision 5550 video, which is the same chassis and train trackpad and keyboard as that one there. And I'll explain that in that video there. So that has that one issue there. And the second one is the actual registering of the click of the mechanical side. They're both hinged at the top, but for me, I do like to press down for the clicks left and right click. And I find that the Lenovo ThinkPad clicks register a lot more times. And sometimes this actually misses the click here and I'll have to double click just to make sure the one click there. So for myself, I find that the registering of the clicks uh, much better on the ThinkPad compared to the XPS 15. Now, if I know you both can actually use the touch, just touch it, but I'm just not in that workflow for just doing touch, uh, but for that there. So that's just my opinion. Um, but for those who do use touch, then probably the XPS 15 is quite a lot better. With the display, they're very different displays. With the X1 Extreme Gen 3, it is using a 16 by nine ratio display. And with the XPS 15, it's got this nice gorgeous 16 by 10 ratio. Now I've been using that 16 by 10 ratio for a little bit of time and I'm really, really growing into it and I'm loving it as well too. So for me, I prefer the XPS 15 display. As for the speakers, the XPS 15 has much louder speakers and also has much better sound quality as well. It's just got a nice more balance for the bass, mids and highs compared to the X1 Extreme. As for the performance for the Dell XPS 15, overall performed better than the Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 3. I'm gonna put up the benchmarks results for these two computers here and pretty much with the CPU wise, if you're doing multi-core, then the Lenovo X1 Extreme wins in that department. But if you're doing single core tasks, the Dell XPS excels in that one there. As for the memory speed, you'll find the XPS 15 is around about 20% faster than the Lenovo X1 Extreme. As for the 3D work and gaming, you find that the XPS 15 is about 5% quicker than the X1 Extreme. And that really comes down to the discrete graphics in these two machines. The XPS 15 comes with a GeForce 1650 Ti, whereas the Lenovo X1 Extreme comes with the GeForce same 1650 Ti, but this is a Max-Q version of it. So that's where it lacks in also the reason why the 3D scores is not as good in the X1 Extreme. Now, as for the hard drive space-wise, the speed of the hard drive is much quicker in the Dell XPS 15 by around about five to 7%. Now, if you're doing like your actual professional work, you'll find there will be not much difference and that will be represented in the spec view pref scores. Overall, the Dell XPS has better display, better speakers and better performance and still a decent keyboard and trackpad compared to the Lenovo X1 Extreme. And of course, we can't forget that price difference as well. It is huge. If you can get the Lenovo X1 Extreme down to very similar in price as the Dell XPS 15, else you're paying a massive price for those extra ports and a little bit slightly better keyboard in my opinion, else it's pretty much the Dell XPS 15 that just rules this all over. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it, or even to support my channel, smack that like button for me. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, by hitting the subscribe button on the screen as well. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.